we're used to playing in small clubs or maybe at a push we'll play to a thousand but um, this is 10,000 people. We are playing some of the biggest shows we've ever played in, in our band's career and it, and it feels insane. You know we don't go into the shows thinking you know how loud is everyone going to sing along because we know that we're kind of it's such a new crowd for us to play to. You think about playing shows like that, but you don't ever really, you can't really prepare yourself for it until you actually just walk out on stage somewhere like that. shows we've ever ever done certainly indoors maybe we've done a couple of big festivals main stage slots but as far as doing indoor shows this is just way above anything we've ever ever had the chance to play before so uh, it's a massive experience and a massive opportunity for us it's a really fucking massive venue it's amazing that rise against ever invited us to come out and do these shows with them and, uh, you know we're kind of a little bit sort of fish out of water and I don't know really what's going to happen or how we're going to how we're going to uh, go down or come across in such a big room because obviously uh, bands as heavy as ours aren't really designed to play these kind of rooms <laughs> Say what I was thinking the whole time we were doing that, I was thinking, I've never, just like playing the end of Follow the War and stuff, and it's like, this is so weird to play yeah. this song in here. Yeah, it was like, what are you I remember we finished writing that album, went on tour in Europe, and we played in Holland to 14 people. Oh yeah. And that's a thousand times more. That was amazing. And playing, <laughs> playing the end of These Colours Don't Run, like, in a fucking arena, it's so, but there's kids that are like so inappropriately heavy, isn't it? Yeah. And kids are like, this bit doesn't get heavier. Like the music doesn't get heavier, and then it stops. And they like start clapping while I'm shouting. They're like, oh yeah, that was really heavy. And then like you see kids in the front row like, oh god. It's quite bizarre, really, quite surreal. I mean, just in the arena a minute ago, and there's an Arctic lorry on the floor. You can't fit an Arctic lorry on the on the floors of the venues we normally play. Uh, we played Dortmund yesterday to I don't know how. I think it ended up being 8,000 people or something, or 9,000 or something like that. And it's just absolutely surreal. I mean, we've done we've done festivals outside before. We did Sonosphere last year, main stage, and that was kind of a sea of people, but I guess there's something just strange about it being indoors. A lot of the material was written a 
while back now, I mean, 2007 or 2008 or something like that. And kind of we were, you know, when I'm sitting down writing a song, I'm not thinking, how's this going to sound in an arena where the sound's going for about 10 minutes after you play it? <laughs> songs, I mean, that. I suppose they're not old, but I mean, you know, they're, they're faster and heavier and they just, they were kind, they were basically written to be played with, you know, 300 cat venues or whatever. I mean, I was playing in places like the Forum's ridiculous enough, but, you know, it's just so out of a, uh, I don't want to say it's out of place because I hope it sounds good wherever it is, you know, but uh, it is, um, it is surreal, it is strange. Yeah, well, doing this tour definitely feels like we've kind of breached the boundaries of that next step, you know, being direct support for a band who are doing arenas and massive venues. Is that kind of next next step up into that that realm, that level? There's always different levels, you know, you'll headline a certain venue, support someone at the venue the next size, headline that venue, support someone at the venue the next size, and we've made that massive jump to supporting Rise Against in these huge venues. And it's, it's insane, it definitely feels like a big step for us as a band and playing new material and it going down this well is such a good feeling as well. It's selfish Sunday. Uh, they'll get pissed off on all your all your dimes. Yeah, yeah. What's that little bottle of wine now? Yeah. The wine. Wine up? Yeah, can, can we get the wine? That he wasn't going to be drinking all day, which uh, we all thought was bullshit. So, I bought him a beer, and now what is it's turned it? into everyone's going to just buy it. And he's going to keep drinking until we leave Germany, aren't you? Selfish Sunday. Selfish Sunday, innit? Do what you want. 
Let me see. This is it. Stores and Fells chocolate set. Hey, I remember last night. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is uh, drink number, what, seven? Seven. Seven, maybe. Long Island iced tea. <laughs> I wanted a mojito, but these people don't look after me. Yeah. And you got to smash it. Yeah. you got to smash it. you got to find the... <laughs> it felt finished. It's still warm. Well, it's, well, it's not. It's seeing God. <laughs> Dream it felt finished. Let me hold it for you. Oh my! What have I just done? Dream 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 Dream. Is that easy? Taste it. It's Ow. disgusting. Ow. <laughs> And then there's this one on the go as well. And but Sam's getting you another one now. But this is where it all really began. It tells a story, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Great right, Sam's Let's go. You're right. I've got the baby on the wall. Yeah, and I can't see where you're being here. And I don't know where you're going. You've got a little empty story. Thumbs up. How would you sum up the day out? In words. 